So I might have modded Minecraft just a little bit. Yep, the water spreads infinitely. Same goes with the lava. So what happens if the water and lava spreads infinitely and meet each other? Wait, oh no. Oh no. Hey villagers, you better you better get out. Oh no. <laughs> oh, they're floating. Okay, wait, not this one though. That boy's gonna die. Okay, so let's go ahead and try the thing. Alright. So first of all, we put lavas because the lavas are way slower than the waters. So we're gonna Wait, 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 wait. Let's destroy this. Okay, let's go ahead and put the lava block like right here. Wait, no, that's the wrong direction. I'm a dingus. Bam. Okay, so I'm gonna wait until the lava hits the ground and starts spreading. And then I'll be spreading the water because the water flows way faster than the lava. Villager, you better run, bro. You better run. Run. Bro, you're gonna die. Bro is literally having a chit chat while the water is ending. Bro, you dumb. <laughs> Bro, come on. Okay, now let's do our water. And the lava is pretty much engulfing the whole entire village. Now, what about the water? The water is way faster, just like I said before. And it's about to engulf the left side of the village. So this bro is like confused. Like this is literally a tsunami on the left side and a volcanic eruption on the right side. What am I supposed to do? Oh no, no. No, bro. Wait, bro. Bro's about to survive. Bro's literally about to survive. Oh my god. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? Yeah. That's one lucky villager. And it's making a really interesting shape. Wow. Since the lava is way slower than the water, it's making a slope from like here to like here is angled this way. But I don't think it's gonna be making a, a slope that has the same angle as this because lava is also flowing. So as you see, this angle, which you cannot see right here, there we go. So this angle right here, it's a little bit steeper than this angle. Interesting, very interesting. And now where did all the villagers go? And oh, I found them. There's one, there's two, and... There's a cow. Now this is what it looks like from the backside. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you know what? Let's do a little bit of time lapse. So this whole tsunami plus volcanic eruption has created a mountain. The left side has a way steeper slope compared to the right side because the right side had a way more time to spread compared to the left side. Now, time for the second experiment. So I'm gonna make a huge lava wall around this village, and then I'm gonna destroy it. Okay, cool. So let's do a slash set block, bam, 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 and bricks. And this is gonna create a circle wall around me. Yeah, so I've might have modified the command a little bit. Yeah, so now we wait for the lava to fall and hit the ground. Bam, 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 bam. This is what happens if Elmatex gets a little bit too bored. Okay, it's about to hit. There we go. So it's now spreading sideways. So let's go ahead and interview some villagers. Hello, Mr. Villager. How are you feeling today? Go. All right, so now I think it's time to place down the water block. So the lava blocks are uneven. And this is not intentional, but it looks pretty amazing. <laughs> and I like it a lot. So let's go to place on a water block right here and then let's break this block so that it looks a little bit more pretty and then let's go ahead and look at from the top and it looks absolutely insane oh wow they're completely submerged but thankfully the villagers are alive kind of at least until they meet the lava block it's making a like a volcanic crater wow this is so satisfying. It's just like a giant frying pan and you just cracked an enormous egg and it's spreading like crazy. <laughs> I wonder what happens if the water meets the lava wall. Oh, the water just stopped flowing and this proves my coding skill sucks once more. Wait, can you survive? Probably not. The lone survivor of the entire village with this kettle right there. Like at least you have something to eat. Oh, you have a lot of stuff to eat. And it's about to finish. And there we go. Wait, oh wait, hold up. The lava blocks are a little bit higher than the water blocks. Wow, let's go ahead and check the village out in spectator mode. Yeah, so this is what it looks like inside of the water and lava. 
And apparently, the water and lava blocks do not go inside of the houses. Wait! Oh! Yeah, I forgot. The iron golems can breathe underwater. The village is about to be completely submerged underwater in 3, 2, 1, BAM! Why do I have a really bad feeling about the nether? I think it's gonna be a disaster. Let's go ahead and check it out. We are in the nether and let's go ahead and... Are you kidding? Okay, so we got lava, but I'm pretty sure there's lava falling from the sky. So, uh, let's go to create a lava flood in the nether. Okay, so we got lava coming from the ceiling. Oh my god, I think it's working. It's working. It's working. What is that? Where did this come from? Yep, it's happening. Oh no. Yeah, this is what happens if the lava flows infinitely in the nether, and it's a disaster. So what happens if the water also flows in the nether? Wait, oh my gosh, where did this come from? When the water goes down here, it's going to uh, create like a stone, and it's gonna start spreading upwards if my code works. Which again, almost never works. It didn't create the stone, but it's kind of working, I guess. Okay, so I think this is a pretty good location to start our water madness. So I'm gonna do a set block. Water will quake because there's already a lava coming from over there. So we gotta beat the lava and then start building our water so like it becomes enormous. So I think this time it's actually gonna be working. Oh my god, where did this come from? And another set block. The nether become really dark real soon, real fast. Let's do lava. Lava. Water. Yeah, so what happens if multiple lavas and waters meet each other? Nice. Let's get it. Yeah. Oh my god. It's happening. It's happening. Let's wait a little bit more and see what happens. I think the lava is not even spreading because like the water is destroying it. So whenever there's lava and water together, the water just dominates the lava. But if there's like, an enormous amount of lava, then the water stands no chance. Nice. So I want to show you guys one more thing. So this is what happens if the fluid actually flows infinitely. Let's see what happens if it meets the water. Wow, this is a completely different shape from what we have seen before. So this is probably gonna make a reverse pyramid. So as expected, it did make a reverse pyramid. And as you see, this side is not completely flat. Well, that's because the edges have met the water first and then the water spread to the middle, which made the obsidian a lot later. So that's why it's curved shape. So yeah, that's what happens if the water and lava flows infinitely in Minecraft. So lastly, I also made water and lava solid. No, they're not like ice or obsidian. And it is pretty interesting. So if you don't know more about that, then go and check out this video. But other than that, thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video.